hey guys, it's me, Wallace, and Puppet. And, hey super kids, and it's like I always say, if you want a slice of toast, you shouldn't have carried a horse. Yeah, and anyway, um, here's my trusty sidekick and friend, Janiel, who's here this week. Hey, Janiel. Oh, hey, Nate, uh, Wallace and Puppet, how are you? It's me, Janiel, and it's really good to be here with you today. Oh, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Uh -huh. So what's, the, what's, what's on this week for Super Kids? Because it's me and you, Wallace and Janelle. Well, we're yeah, imitators of Christ. Imitators of Christ? What does that mean? I'll explain later, but it kind of means that we don't try to pretend to be other people, but we just be Jesus. Okay. Should we go to worship? Sure.
was some really, really good worship, hey Willis? I, I still can't stop myself from, from dancing. Yeah, that was, that was, that was really great, Janelle. I, I love praising the Lord. It's good. Do, do you know what I hate, Willis? I hate when people try to pretend to be other people. I don't know why we just can't be ourselves. Yeah, but maybe, maybe people feel the pressure that they have to be like somebody else. Like, maybe they don't know how to be themselves, or they don't really know anybody better to follow. I wonder where Nathan is this week. It's not like him not to turn up. Oh, he's probably doing something really important. Like, he's a really smart guy and a really clever guy and, like, super handsome and he has, like, so much important stuff to do and, like... Shh. giving us away. And so that's probably where he is this week. I, I don't know. What... He works so hard here, though, he could do with a week off. Should we go to our first video? Come and see Jesus growing up. This is Jesus. Hey -oh. Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in a barn because there was no room at the inn for him. Jesus had a mom named Mary Hi. and a dad named Joseph. Hey -oh. Jesus grew up in a small town called Nazareth. Jesus had brothers and sisters. One of his brothers was James, Hi. and he followed Jesus his whole life. Hey, Jesus, wait up! Jesus also had a cousin named John. Hey, John. Hey, Jesus. Who would later be known as John the Baptist. Mom, we're home. Jesus was an Israelite, and his family practiced the Jewish customs and holidays. Jesus? Everyone who knew Jesus liked him. Jesus' earthly dad was a carpenter. What was that? Ah, I see. Jesus learned from Joseph and became a carpenter himself. As Jesus grew up, he learned more about God and what his plan was. He studied the word of God and remembered all that it said. Jesus prepared himself for everything that God wanted him to do. So when it was time, he was ready to be the Messiah, the promised savior of the Israelites and all of mankind. Hang on, Wallace. I'll talk to you about that video in a minute. This is probably my absolutely booming real estate business calling. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Hey. Hello, Nathan? Hi, Janelle. It's Janelle. Uh oh. Um, are you pretending to be me? Yeah. Why are you pretending to be me, Nathan? Be because I was trying to imitate you and Wallace. Like, Wallace is sick and you're away. So, like, I had to be you. Look at my outfit. Like, oh. it's totally you. And my hair. It's like glorious. It's like Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. First of all, you know, even if you wanted to be me, you're just not funny enough, okay? I'm sorry, you just don't have what it takes to pull this off, you know? But second of all, if you're gonna imitate anyone, don't imitate me. You should imitate Christ. He's the one that you want to imitate the, the, the most. He does everything the best. Like, I wish I could be like him. And actually, I try to imitate him the most in my life. No one else. Fair enough. So take that wig off. Lower your voice a couple octaves. Back to normal. So I don't even have to try and be like Wallace? No, please don't try to be like Wallace. 
because, yeah, that's, I don't know if you have the right weight for it either. He has very luscious locks. I don't think I could even imitate that. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. Yeah. I was getting really hard anyways. Yeah, there you go. Can let, I that, let that head breathe. Can I keep this oh. on there? Because it's really fuzzy and comfortable. Um, what, what is that? It's, it's a top. And a nice little oh. felt, little felt cardigan. Wow. Yes. Uh, you really, I thought it was just the wig, but you really dedicated a lot of uh, time there. I was trying to be okay. like you guys. Well, um, give that back to whatever sheep you stole it from and uh, just be yourself. Thanks. Okay. We'll talk bye. to you later. Yep. Yeah, bye. 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 Well, I guess that was kind of embarrassing. But I can't tell you how good it feels to have gotten this wig off. I mean, so itchy and so hot. I don't know how Janelle wears her wig all the time. It's... Man, it's hot. So how about we go to the next video and um, let's look at the kind of life that we're supposed to live, which is like the life of Jesus. How about we do that? Sounds good. Give this back to a sheep. This isn't from a sheep, this is from a production that I was starred in that you may or may not still be able to watch on YouTube. How offensive. It's time for a Bible story. This is the story of Jesus. Awesome, I love this story. But wait, are we gonna tell the entire story? Like from when he was born and everything? I don't know if we have time for all of that. I got a haircut later. And... No, we're not gonna start when he was a baby. We'll pick it up a little after that. Okay, so like teenage Jesus. A little older. When Jesus was about 30 years old, he started his ministry. Cool. Wait, what does that mean exactly? That means he started teaching people about God, preaching the good news, and doing miracles. Gotcha. He traveled around all over the place, helping people everywhere he went. All day, every day, he taught, healed, gave, served, prayed for, and rescued people. Whoa, 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 slow down. You can't just blaze through that fast. Like, what kind of stuff are you talking about? Well, just to name a few, he healed lots of people that were sick, like a blind man that had never opened his eyes. Jesus healed him and he could see. Or another man that was crippled and couldn't walk. With the word, Jesus healed his body and the man got up and started dancing. Over and over and over, Jesus came across people that were hurting and sick, even ones that thought they would never get better, and Jesus restored them back to perfect health. Whoa, that's awesome! So, he just healed people? No way! He did tons of other miracles for people. He took a little bit of food and multiplied it into enough to feed thousands of people. He walked on water and calmed a huge storm by speaking to it. He cast out demons from people, and he even raised people from the dead. Man, that's amazing. So that's all he did, huh? I mean, that's still pretty impressive. Actually, that's not even close to everything he did. The Bible says that Jesus did so many miracles and helped so many people that if you were to write down everything he did, you couldn't fit enough books on earth to contain it. Good grief. You're like exploding my mind right now. Jesus did that much for people? You bet. When we look at Jesus' time on earth, we see someone that didn't just tell people that he loved them. He didn't just think it. He showed them that he loved them by what he did. He didn't pass someone up just because he wasn't feeling it that day. He didn't heal people begrudgingly. He didn't look down on anyone that was in need. His attitude and his actions show us what he cared about. And the one thing that was always on his mind. Oh, 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 let me guess. Hot Pockets. What? Yeah, like he's always thinking about him, like wishing he was heating one up, getting that cheese to bubble up like a little orange volcano. Uh, no, it wasn't Hot Pockets. Oh, wait a minute, sorry, I'm thinking of me. Hot Pockets are always on my mind. Scratch that, let me try again. I was gonna say, there was one thing always on Jesus' mind. Loving people. There you go. Even when it sometimes wasn't all that easy, Jesus still did everything he could to help people. Hold on, what do you mean wasn't always easy? Like, isn't this Jesus we're talking about? He's like the ultimate, incredible, can-do-anything superhero of all time. That's true, but when he was on earth, he was still a man, which meant he got tired and hungry and felt everything any other person felt. And that makes his story even more amazing because he never let those things get in the way of doing what he did. Loving people. Exactly. Traveling and teaching all the time was exhausting. One time he even slept on a boat in the middle of a huge storm. That's how physically demanding it was to do what he did. 
Man, that is some serious sleepiness. I bet his disciples had to use like a hundred alarm clocks to help him wake up in the morning. Well, I don't know about that. No matter how tired he was, where he was, or who came up to him asking for help, Jesus was 100% all in for showing people he loved them with his attitude and actions. Man, that is totally stinking awesome. And after years of traveling around like that, helping, healing, and teaching people, the time came for him to do the ultimate act of love. He gave his life. Jesus loved us so much that he took the punishment that people deserved and died on the cross for our sin. Man, talk about an amazing life. But that's not how the story ends, right? I mean, it, it can't just be over just like that. Of course not. After three days, Jesus rose from the dead and he's alive today. Oh, like right now? You bet. Jesus conquered sin and he defeated death. And that's the most amazing thing of all that shows us how much he loves people. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, we can be a part of God's family and know him like never before. Man, you weren't kidding when you said that everything Jesus did was about loving people. Totally. But here's the thing. There's one more part to this story. After Jesus rose from the dead, he visited his disciples and gave them a very important command. Go and heat up some Hot Pockets, no. but save one for me because I'm super hungry. No, he told them to follow his example and be just like him. Jesus said to go into all the world and share the good news, to love people like he did. But was that like just for the disciples back then though? No way, the Bible tells us to do the very same thing today. Jesus' life is a perfect example of what our life should look like and what we should do. We should love people like he did, but not just think it or talk about it, go and do something. Right, how'd you say it? What was that thing you were saying? Uh, our apple dudes and axes? Close. Our attitude and actions are how we show people the love of Jesus. And when we go into the world around us and love people, we're showing them Jesus. Awesome. Uh, but wait, quick question. Hold on. Does sharing Jesus with other people mean I have to like do anything weird? Like I don't have to stand up on the lunch table at school with a megaphone and like start yelling at everybody, do I? Nope. Okay, cool. Because I'm homeschooled, so I just be yelling at my mom and I don't think she'd like that. <laughs> it's super simple. Just do things the way Jesus would do them. When you love others and go out of your way to care for them, that's showing them Jesus. See how that works? Mmm, so when a kid at school like doesn't have very much food at lunch, I could like share some of mine and that would be showing him Jesus. Yep. Gotcha. Or if my mom tells me to clean my room and I do it without throwing a fit and make sure I do a good job, that's showing her Jesus too? Okay, all right, I'm getting it now. Great. I'm catching your drift. What? I'm cashing what you're checking. Stop. I'm snacking what you're packing. All right, that's enough. Just remember, as you go through the journey of your life, you can always share the good news with the people around you, just like Jesus did, with your attitude and your actions. Can I do one more? <sighs> sure. I'm itching what you're scratching. Okay, I'm done. The end. Super kids, I can't tell you how good it is to be back in my own clothes and you know, not trying to pretend to be like Wallace and Janelle. And I bet you couldn't even tell that I it wasn't that, that it was me because I'm I guarantee I bet you thought that that I was really Janelle. And definitely Wallace. I mean and and, and totally puppet. So who am I kidding? It was so hard to be like them. I can't act like them and I can't think as quick as them and be as funny as them and you know all the, the clicky stuff and the eye rolls and the you know the eating candy and standing on your phone. I can't do all that stuff like them and you know what it's kind of nice just to be like me and actually I'm thankful because like we've just seen of our scripture this week we don't have to be even like us. We, we have to be like Jesus. Let me read that scripture to you again. You are the children that God dearly loves. He loves you so much. So follow his example. Lead a life of love just as Christ did. And so that's kind of our point this week too. We live and love like Jesus. That means that we are forgiving and we're kind and we're friendly and we are open to everybody, meaning we just we just be as super kind as we can be and thoughtful to everybody 
And that's the great thing about following Jesus, is that we don't even have to try and figure out so much like who we are. We just we can just look at who He is in Scripture. And so, mom and dad at home or whoever we live with at home, hey, it'd be a really good idea just to sit with the kids and explain to them what it would be like to live like Jesus. Because that's what He asks us to do, to live like Him and to love like Him. Well, Super Kids, it was a super weird week. And I'm really sorry for trying to pretend to be like those two. They'll be back next week. Oh, and we can get back to normal funny stuff. And we're about to go to a little video now, which tells you what's coming up in the future. Oh, it's super exciting. Have a great week, super kids. See you soon. Yeah. Preview.